Hey guys, King Light here, and we got UG, UGH, by, uh, I'm assuming that's how you say it, by uh, BTS. Now, in honor of their amazing style, went ahead and found this old thing. I haven't had an earring in a good while, so it stung a little bit, but it's all good. So we're going to go ahead and listen to this. Now, I do want to say to you guys, you guys gave me a ton of information to, uh, kind of take down so it's going to take me a little bit to get fully into it like uh being able to recall all that information at once but i really appreciate you guys letting me all know and it's uh it's pretty amazing how how much you guys uh keep up with them i guess just in general like any artist it takes a it takes a lot of talent and skill and just interaction with your fans to get to that level of kind of uh fandom i guess i don't know how to say it i'm kind of rambling it's a little late but let's go ahead and get started. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so I got the English closed captioning on, and let's go ahead and get started. Ooh. All right, before we even get to the song, do they make their own beats, or, the, or who made this beat? Because already, that sounded like some, some lo-fi in a good way, like some underground. I just like that beat. Hmm. Oh, hold up. I heard them rap on that last one, but they, this seems like a lot more, would be the right word. It would be like heavy rap, I guess. I don't know. Just sounds nice. Hold up, are these, uh, let me know after this if these, uh, CZs are right or not. It feels like they're saying a lot more. They're doing a lot more syllables and, and words, um, in their language than I can see coming up. But it may just be because it takes more to say something, you know, like a concept in English a little bit that's smaller, so. Fifth Ocean Too Deep for PC from... <laughs> That shit was nice. Okay, hold on. I wasn't expecting them to rap like this. I know you guys said that they do a whole lot of different genres. And definitely two of them. Or it was three you guys said. I think it was... Uh, was V one of them? RM, which stood for like rap something maybe and uh was it j-hope no sugar that was one of them for sure so i don't know who's here there's no way for me to tell without knowing their voices already so you guys let me know what order they're uh they're coming in on but so i wasn't expecting this because like i said the last rap was definitely rap it was good but it, it felt like more poppy and then this just feels like like a rap song um i'm trying to keep up with the lyrics I'm liking how it sounds and I'm liking their their delivery on this. I feel like like you guys said I think I'm going to have to do like a, a video describing the lyrics because or I actually I work better with it having written out and then I can identify the parts that I think I need a little more more clarification on. Seeing it like as it comes up is a little bit hard for me. Uh but I may actually do that maybe. Maybe I'll break up some of these songs uh into a separate video where I look down at the lyrics or maybe you guys if you want I can include it onto the future videos and have like a second half of the video kind of looking at the lyrics but let me back up a little bit Damn. Yeah, I'm having I'm having a, a bit of a hard time breaking down these lyrics. I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, I mean there's a blank there, so I'm assuming these closed captionings are either incomplete or they're maybe not super accurate because they're I think they're auto generated. Maybe I clicked the wrong video, maybe there's a better one. Oh hold on, bruh. No, it says English. Never mind. I thought I had clicked on something else. Why is it doing Korean auto generated to English? Seems like two steps, but I'm surprised right now. I'm gonna keep listening. <laughs> 
I just, I, I really don't mean it in a bad way. I just wasn't expecting them to be able to rap to this level, if that makes sense. Because, I mean, you, you normally don't, my understanding of them before you guys started telling me everything was that they were like a K-pop boy band. And I know they got into different genres, uh, as you guys were saying. But it, it's sort of like, if you have a rapper that does like a country album, you may like that country album if you already like the rapper, but it's it's very rare that country fans would jump on that rapper and be like, oh, this is a good country album. You know what I mean? So this is surprising right now. I'm liking the atmosphere of this song with that beat and just their delivery. Oh, they got some auto tune. I'm liking this little part right here. You guys weren't kidding when you said they mix or switch genres. Like I already said, so one artist I can probably point at with similar. Now, I'm not comparing the two. I'm just saying like that I that I was aware that could shift genres was uh, XXXTentacion where and I'm not talking about just his mainstream songs that are like rap and some pop, but I'm talking about it like it's, it's more underground stuff like uh you know, Willy Wonka was a child murder. Um, I watched him drown, that sort of thing. He's got a couple more, but like King for sure. That was a little more mainstream on his first album. So maybe you guys know that unless you're already X fans. Where he didn't just emulate or try and incorporate some uh, uh, punk and some metal and some, some screamo type shit into his songs. He wasn't just incorporating. He was like legitimately doing that genre. And then there was that song... Uh, revenge that I, I don't know how to categorize it but it was leaning more toward like uh almost like a little country pop or something i, I really really like those so his versatility i would attribute it that same skill set now I'm not, I'm not comparing levels and all that um but i am comparing that that skill set where you can actually do another genre as opposed to taking pieces of it onto your own anyway i rambled on a little bit I Ooh. I like that. I'm liking that. That vocal shift. Hey, hey. I'm a backup, but hold up. If you Vanda fans are watching, because I mentioned this on the, on the, wait, I think it's Vanda, not Vanda. I've been saying it wrong. If you Vanda fans are watching, I said this on one of his songs as well. I just love that whisper to yelling uh, transition that a few rappers and a few songs do. I just, I feel like it's underutilized. I love that effect. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hold up right there. Tell me who that is, because that uh that part is fire. Ooh, he's like he's like starting real tight and then letting it go. Like a Korean version right here of uh, 24 hours or something. This is clean. Ooh. 
I'm gonna focus a little less on the lurks now, and because we're gonna look back at them. I'm really liking the fact that they're not sticking to like one flow. Two thousands Atlanta rap right here. Hey. There it goes. I like I love that part. Ooh. A little B change? What's going on here? Bro, hold on. This little second beat right here really sounds in a good way like it's got some influence from like Space Ghost Perp or something. Like, I just love that type of production. Some 3-6 Mafia, Space Ghost Perp. Hell yeah. What's up with that map of the Soul 7? Is that, is that like a 7th album or is that just the name of it? Yo, that shit was fire. Hold on. So, I mean, you guys told me, but I really wasn't expecting to, like, legit, like, love a song. Um, no disrespect at all. I just, just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so, so, all right, I'm going to pause the video for one sec, and then we're going to hop on the, uh, the lyrics. And I'm going to try my best to, uh, to look at them. Um, and then you guys let me know whatever the hell I missed.